Hi everyone, welcome back to Monday Meds. I hope your week is off to a great start. Happy Monday to you all. Yes, 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 it is Monday. And I'm your health educator, Tanisha Lawrence. And this is your Monday Meds. So yes, your Monday Meds. So all right, it is Monday. It is the second Monday of November. I know for you, those of you in North America, specifically in the U.S., you are celebrating Veterans Day today. So happy Veterans Day to all of you. And um, we thank God for those who have fought for our freedom over the years. And um, some of them paid the ultimate price. And uh, we remember them and their families today. All right, so there's so many things happening this week. So many things happened last week since we actually um, we actually met. Yes, um, the elections. For many, it was the results were disappointing that um, Donald Trump became president. But again, like I said to you, it doesn't matter who wins. There will be unrest. There will be political unrest, um, and there, like I said before, there will be issues that are um, a tiebreaker. It's beyond a tiebreaker. The want of a better word. And so, um, I know many people are disappointed. Many people. I heard that one lady in particular. She was crying for days, and. Um, I know many individuals are scared, especially people of my color. Yes, being in America at this time, you can be seen as an immigrant, even if you're born American. And so for those of you who are there, my encouragement for you is to walk around with your documents everywhere you go, because you never know when ICE will want to check or maybe even arrest you for being illegal and so these are some crazy times that i know um our world has evolved to but let us know that god is in control and it doesn't matter who is president jesus is king it doesn't matter who is president jesus is king we know that there was a hurricane raphael raphael went through the caribbean um we we missed missed it in in part and we got mostly rain and some breeze uh, but cuba got hit hard and as we talk about hurricanes there is a system on the sea uh, projected to be developed possibly by thursday friday um we should probably start getting effects of it from here in jamaica from about wednesday thursday so be aware and this system possibly will name sarah so be aware all my viewers and share it with your family and your friends you have special events coming up um or you have work you have church let us um let us prepare let us prepare you have school let us be aware and parents especially be aware of the weather patterns and be safe and um, make sure that you can keep your children safe make sure that you are aware as i always say be, to be prepared is to be spared to be prepared is to be spared so bear this in mind and share and um, for more updates you can check mr weatherman ryan shields yes we love you thank you for sharing um very important and thorough information with us we appreciate you yes we appreciate love you here in jamaica thank you so much and god bless you there was an earthquake actually there were two earthquakes yesterday that were felt here in jamaica and the epicenter was um was near cuba was east of cuba and the hurricane hit the west western part of cuba and so let us pray for cuba let us pray for Cuba. Let my Jamaican and Caribbean family, let us pray for our Caribbean neighbor. Cuba is actually our closest neighbor. 
yes or closest neighbor and listen you need to be extra extra careful about how you relate to your neighbor your closest neighbor very important and so I know sometimes we may not get along with our neighbors but let us try to live at peace with our neighbors and care as much as it is possible and so Cuba Cubans we are thinking of you here in Jamaica and we are praying for you all right so yes there were two earthquakes um, one cat one magnitude magnet the first one was magnitude five five point point four and the other one was six six point eight yes um, the six point eight one we felt um, at home and um, like I said I don't like to think about earthquakes and I know I talked about earthquakes a few weeks ago right here and it is important that we take the necessary precautions. Usually an earthquake does not give warning. The only warning or the two main warnings that you may get or you may, and this is just before it hits, is that the extreme heat and then just before it hits you will hear, sometimes you'll hear a rumbling. There's a rumbling sound and my husband actually told me that he heard the rumbling it was rumbling for a few seconds or so and then we felt the shaking and um, he was the one who actually pointed it out to me that it was an earthquake and then I realized that yes it's an earthquake and so it is important for us to know what to do know what to do when there is an earthquake and there is this acronym I did share it here I shared it here before um, from doctors Joseph and Amy Alton in their book the survival handbook the survival handbook and um, I'll share it again for us to remember for emphasis so there is drop cover so drop cover hold so D C H drop so drop what you're doing and drop Go low, go under the table, go under, um, if you can go under the bed, go under an area that you can get covered. So you drop, get cover, and more so cover your head when you cover, cover your head. If anything, any body parts get damaged, it should not be your head. Because remember, this is the center of intelligence. This is the war room. This is where everything else operate from okay so this control that is why it's above it's on top because this controls the whole body and so you cover your head and you hold you hold and you wait wait until the earthquake stops do not try it naturally you're gonna want to run outside because the earthquake gets tend to get our brains um, our body and our brain um, shaken up and so you may get um, disoriented and um, feel scared and you want to naturally run outside but it is safer to be inside and um, we are told that the door jams are is our safest place but for modern homes um, nowadays homes sometimes especially depending on where you live they may not have that steelwork that is great support here in Jamaica or buildings thank God they are made up to standard great building work thumbs up to our our, constru our construction team and um, that they do a great job in building however you don't know how strong your door jam is all right so you want to definitely drop so drop drop cover drop cover and hold all right yes so we have to remember d c h and be safe be safe and so there have been some aftershocks um that are felt in cuba and there were some felt in jamaica um in the eastern part of the island listen there i would want to say to you or i wish i could say to you that there will not be any more but as it gets hotter 
the likelihood of more earthquakes happening is high and so we are tired and so we have to know what to do to keep safe to keep safe ourselves and to keep our family safe especially if it happens on a day like yesterday when most people were home or if you were at church um, you should know what to do if you're at church or if you're at work or if you're at school or even if you're in the supermarket and so this is something that we need to remember drop cover hold drop cover hold as we wrap up Monday meds today I am encouraged by the Word of God that says when you see these things as Jesus said to his disciples in Matthew 24 when you see these things there'll be earthquakes in diverse places when you see these things look up because our redemption draws nigh and so as a Christian these these happenings in our world should be an encouragement to us that the prophecy of Jesus's soon return is sure and so let us be ready and let us get others ready I pray you'll have a blessed week everyone and God be with you to support our ministry Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.